Hey folks, Maverick Watch Reviews back here with another review for you. Today we have an absolute legend in the dive world. Today we have the Citizen Promaster Aqualand 200 meter solar diver, model number BN2024-05E. And before I get into it, I wanna thank Duty Free Island for this review unit. At Duty Free Island, you get duty free, tax free, and free worldwide shipping. Duty Free Island only sells 100% authentic and genuine watches, and they're simply just a great bunch of folks to deal with. Make sure you check out their website and pick yourself up a watch. Now, as usual, we'll open this thing up, look at the fit and finish, the features and the functions, the build quality, and then I'll give you my overall impressions of this iconic, now iconic, diver from Citizen. Here you go, here's a watch. Take a look at it, really, really cool. Now, this is not the actual watch box. I couldn't get, couldn't find the watch box for this thing, but you do obviously get the, uh, the I have the manuals here. You got the, uh, the guarantee, the international warranty, and of course you have the uh, instruction manual. So there you go. No watch box for this review, but you get the manuals and of course the watch. All right. Now, as usual, I'll go ahead and put up all the specs on the left-hand side of the screen, and then we'll talk about this really, really unique and uh, now legendary uh, Citizen Diver. You're looking at a 53 millimeter case, it's 18 and a half millimeters thick. It's only 27 millimeter rubber strap. It's 200 meters water resistant. It has a DLC coated unidirectional bezel. Uh, it's got the J250 movement in it with a 10 month power reserve. Uh, it's got a power reserve indicator over here at nine o'clock. It's got a depth sensor, a water sensor, a depth measurement display, uh, insufficient charge warning, overcharge prevention function, uh, it's got a uh, mineral anti-reflective coated crystal, not a sapphire, unfortunately. Uh, it's got fully loomed indexes and hands, and I'll show you that later. Uh, it's got a date function over here at three o'clock, uh, a screw down crown at four o'clock. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. It is a ISO certified for diving. Uh, and of course this watch is made in Japan. So this is a, a lot to go over. I mean, this is one beast of a watch. Um, a ton of stuff to go over with this. First, let's talk about the case. Now the case, they say 53 millimeters, but that's actually including the crown and the, the, uh, the alarm crown and the depth sensor crown over here and the actual depth sensor itself. So it actually wears a little bit smaller than when you would think. It's still a big watch and it still wears really big. It's also a very deep watch. Being 18 and a half millimeters, this thing is no joke, man. It is, it is really, really deep. It's a big watch, guys, but you can pull it off uh, you, you know, you know, might not want to wear this all the time, but you can pull it off uh, because like I said, the case is about 50 millimeters, but all the accoutrement uh, adds to the width and kind of the general size, the, you know, the look and size of the watch. Um, <clears throat> let me see here. Let's look at the actual case. All right, you're looking at basically all brushed finishes, stainless steel, again, very thick, but uh, I mean, just so well put together, it's ridiculous. I mean, these watches are extremely well made, really, really well made watches. I uh, got a huge, you know, really, really deep dial, uh, multicolor different hands for all the different functions, and I'll explain that for you later. There's just, I mean, this is almost an overwhelming review for me because there's so much to talk about with this watch. Kind of like those Citizen Satellite Waves. There's just so much to go over and I wanna make sure I get as much as I can for you. Um, I guess let's talk about the uh, the different um, hands. You're looking at your big red minute hand, the skeleton, skeletonized minute hand. You have your little blue, actually green hour hand right there. I don't know if you can really see it, but that's actually kind of, it'll loom up as green. And then you have your depth display hand which is blue. There's actually another hand underneath that hand over here at three o'clock. This big one is your current depth display. And there's another one underneath that that shows your max depth display. Let me unscrew the crown and I'll show you that thing should pop out here. Let me see if I can get it to pop out. Yep, there it goes. Right there. That is your maximum depth display. When I said this is a diver, this is a this is an, a legit diving watch. This is something you would probably really only wear if you're going diving. I mean, you can obviously wear it, you know, to social functions and to work or whatever. But this is, a, you know, this might be the most legit diving watch out there. So anyway, so there you saw the hand. I'll put it back. Actually, it already, it already reset. All right. 
So those are your hands, and there's another hand over here. This is your um, your power reserve indicator. Also, when the water enters, when the watch enters water, that hand is going to go up to ready. I don't know if you can see that, or it says ready right there where my finger is. So the watch knows that it's in the water, and the water sensor is right there. This is what tells the watch that it's entered water. When it's in water for two seconds or more, that power reserve hand will go up to ready. Okay, and that'll let you know that you uh, it's ready to start taking dive measurements and dive times and all that other type of stuff. Um, that's really it so far as the hands of the watch goes. Obviously, you have your second hand, your minute hand, your hour hand, your two dive time hands, your power reserve hand, and your, I guess, your water readiness hand. It's the best way I can describe it. Uh, so that's basically the dial of the watch. You have a DLC-coated bezel, unidirectional bezel, really nice click action on it. It's a little bit looser than I would probably like. I would like a little more effort to uh, actually turn the dial, but that's not a big deal. No big deal. Now, some of you are going to look at this dial and go, oh my God, the 60 is not at the top. This is dive times. Um, these, these are minutes, and it's, it, this, the way it corresponds to the dive time, they didn't put the 60 right at the top. It's actually 50 up at top. Uh, they're different dive increments. Again, this is legit dive watch, man. So there's a whole bunch of stuff in here I don't understand so far as diving goes, but that's why you don't see the 60 minute mark at the top. It's something to do with dive times. All right, let's talk about the left-hand side of the case here. This is your alarm crown. Now these are both screw down. This is your alarm crown, and this is your, your dive reset crown. This resets the maximum dive depth that the watch can display. Uh, again, a whole bunch of stuff I don't understand. Um, this is the actual water sensor. I'm sorry, this is your depth sensor. This actually determines, you know, tells the watch how deep it's going. And again, over here, this is your water sensor. You know, once this is activated within two seconds, it goes into dive mode. And then this starts taking measurements of how deep the watch is going. So there you go. Um, <clears throat> what else? Nice big crown. Nice big crown pop. Let me unscrew it again. Nice knurled crown. Really, really good crown pop. And I wish they had taken this knurling, and I wish they had also done the same knurling that this crown has with the alarm crown and the depth, uh, maximum depth crown right here. So actually, let me, let me demonstrate this for you a little bit. I'm not gonna really, because this is a lot to, to go over, and it's a lot to understand. Let me unscrew one of these crowns here. And they're kind of a pain to unscrew because they don't have that nice knurling that the time crown over here has. So let me, let me see here. I probably have to put it in some sort of dive mode to get it to do what it's doing. But it has a rapid ascension alarm and that's what this is for. So let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. There you go. That's your depth. That's showing the maximum depth that this watch had reached. Let's push the alarm. Yeah, you can see this is your alarm, rapid ascension alarm. You can also reset the two. I mean, you're gonna ha you're gonna have to read the manual on this watch, guys. All right, so let's go ahead, and turn that off. Let's screw these back in. Now these don't have any sort of pop. These basically just unscrew to um, allow you to push the crowns in. You know, just like a, a regular pusher. So these don't actually pop out. These aren't spring loaded. So there you go. All right, so. Um, what else? Uh, we'll talk about the loom here in a minute. I'll show you a nice loom shot and I'll try to watch on. Let's talk about the, the case back. Just your typical citizen laser etched case back. You can still see it's got the sticker on there. Uh, just shows, you know, it just shows all the basic information of the watch, the fact that it's made in Japan. It's a citizen pro master. Um, you know, it's an eco drive, all that good stuff. So nothing really special about the, uh, the case back. Now the strap, the strap is, uh, it's, it's rubber. Actually, I think it's silicone. Very, very nice strap, but it is an absolute pain to get these watches on, but it's a pain to get them on for a reason. If you notice at the end of the strap here, there's a slight little bulge. You see right there where my finger is? See how it kind of comes out? It comes and kind of goes out into a circle. That's to purposely make this watch harder to fall off your wrist. So it's, it's a little bit harder to get on, but that's a little bit of a safety feature. You can kind of see, it looks like a little end of a, I don't know, a lollipop or a cul-de-sac or something. <laughs> anyway, that's there for a reason. Um, also, you have a keeper, a kind of fixed keeper right here. You can see it's got a little indentation. You can see where my hand is. See, it's got the little indentation there for the keeper. So that's a fixed keeper, and this is a floating keeper, okay? You can make this a floating keeper. If you want, you can just take it out, and let me show you. Um, 
But again, this is really just to help make sure that the watch is um, on the wrist securely. So there you go. You can see the little indentation there, and that's for the fixed keeper. You could take this off if you want. I wouldn't recommend it because this watch is really expensive and you don't want to uh, have this thing falling off your wrist. Now, some people don't like these rubber or silicone straps, so they get what they got. Uh, they go to a um, Stevrol, uh, which has those SUPA adapters for these ProMasters, um, and you could get, they're about 70 bucks, and basically you open up the back case of the watch and you uh, install the adapters on these things. So it allows you to put a NATO strap or a stainless steel bracelet or something like that if you want on the watch. So you can change out the strap if you want. Again, it'll cost you about 75 bucks, not a big deal. So anyway, let's go ahead and try this thing on. I'm gonna go ahead and use that fast forward feature. I love using that thing. Let's go ahead and try this thing on and uh, then we're gonna test out the loom. I'll be back in just a second. All right, there you go, I'm back. So there you go, it's got tons of wrist presence. And again, really, really deep watch. Good Lord, this thing is huge. <laughs> it's a massive watch, guys. But it's really comfortable. The good thing about it, it's extremely comfortable, which I like. Very, very comfortable watch. And again, it doesn't wear as big, and it doesn't feel as heavy as I thought it would either. It doesn't wear as big as it looks. So let's go ahead and take this thing off, and let's test out the loom here. And I'll show you some uh, really, really good loom shots. It has excellent loom. I would say it's almost on par with uh, Seiko's Lumabrite, almost. Um, really, really like the color on these, on these uh, Citizens. So let's go ahead and kill the studio light. Let's check out the loom on this thing. It's a little bit bright in here, so hopefully it'll, it'll show up. Really, really, really nice loom. I like it. Multicolor loom, too, which is cool. And I'll explain to you why. All right, there you go. Now, everything in green has to do with timekeeping. Everything in blue has to do with uh, depth. So you can see the, uh, the current depth hand right there, over there at 3 o'clock. And then we'll pull it out, and again, you'll see the maximum depth. There you go. That's the maximum depth. Hand. So this hand will, will, will basically keep track of your current depth. And then the maximum hand will constantly bump up depending on how deep you've gone. So it'll, it'll bump up and it'll stay wherever it's supposed to stay. So there you go. All right. All right, let's turn the light back on. Now, these are 427 bucks over at Duty Free Island. But unfortunately, unfortunately, they're sold out. These watches are selling fast. There are three different models of this watch, three different dive, um, I'm sorry, different dial colors. Um, and they're selling out fast. These, are, Like I said, these are becoming a real legend uh, really, really fast. Uh, you can get this one over at Amazon, though, for $865, and I'll include a link for you. I'll include a link to both Duty Free Island and Amazon. Um, and there's one thing about this watch that maybe somebody out there can explain for me. You know, I like to do my research and I like to know as much as I can about each watch I review, but there are two models of this watch and they look absolutely identical. There's this one, which is the BN2024-05E, and there's the BN2029-01E, and I would love to know the difference between the two. I think the BN2029-01E is just the newer version of this watch. I'm not quite sure, even though this is a brand new watch as well. Uh, which is the 2024-05E. I think the BN2029-01E is just the newer model of this. I'm not quite sure. So if anybody could uh, shed some light on this, I'm just really curious. So anyway, all right, guys. Well, that's been about it for this review. I appreciate it. And if you like this review, please click on like. If you want to subscribe to my channel, please do so. I've got a lot of really neat stuff coming up soon. And uh, that's about it. And again, this has been the Citizen Pro Master Aqualand 200 meter solar diver, model number BN 2024-05E. Go over to Duty Free Island, hopefully they'll have them back in stock and pick yourself up one. All right, take care, bye-bye.